Hi, I'm Renee Ng with Dance Channel TV. We're here at the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, where a bunch of dancers and choreographers have gathered to talk about the current state of dance on TV. We even got to talk to Paul Abdul and Kenny Ortega. We are in the golden era of celebrating dance on television, and there's not a genre of television programming that is not or has not recently employed dancers and choreographers. It's amazing. I mean, everything, everything, and in between from from not just reality shows, but but dramas, uh, soaps, sitcoms. You know, live television events and award shows. It's just on and on. It's fantastic, and uh, it's never it's never been a better time for for dancers. It's reminiscent of the uh, golden era of when when dancers were put under contract with studios, so it's fantastic. Well, I think it's it's a great opportunity to see some things that have not been seen before uh, by most people, and I think it's extraordinary that uh, Robin Astaire has made it possible for us to see these things for the public because they've just not been available. And I think it'll be very interesting to hear people like Kenny Ortega and Paula Abdul and some of the contemporary choreographers talk about the artistry of people like Fred Astaire, and I, I imagine my my husband Gene Kelly might come up once in a while too. So uh, I think what's really interesting is to think about this was Gene's preoccupation is how do you capture dance on film because it's very different. It's not the same as when you choreograph for the stage. It's entirely different from when you choreograph for the camera. And I think that uh, Gene, that was Gene's major emphasis was how do you crack that thing? He called the camera the one-eyed monster. And I think one of the problems we have now is that people don't really know how to shoot dance and one one thing that was very important for both Mr. Astaire and Gene Kelly was that you shot the dance full figure and you shot it head on and you showed the whole body. It's not a series of chopped up body parts and it's not non-dancers, it's real dancers and uh, they're acting with their movement. And I think that it would be nice if we could begin to return to some of that concept. It's pretty revolutionary now, we've gotten away from it and one thing that Gene just hated was the chopped up chopped up nonsense because it's really impotent if you if you don't have a head and you just have little feet and if you have little feet and no head you lose the personality so well, as I say I think he'd be very happy that people are talking about dance and it's kind of funny because I always love it on Dancing with the Stars when the big football player wins Emmett Smith wins or something and they say that he suddenly made it okay for men to be dancers and I, I want to say well I think there was a guy who did that a little bit earlier than that but Gene did a wonderful television special in 1958 for Omnibus called Dancing a Man's Game and it shows that you can be masculine and graceful at the same time and he brought in all of these wonderful sports figures and then he copied their movement and created a dance out of it and so I'm releasing that as part of his hundredth birthday and uh, I think it will show people that that he he was one of the first to kind of begin to make those connections. Well I think any sense of that kind of movement and the beauty it's it's and the creativity I think Gene didn't really want people to mimic what he did he wanted them to take what he did and go beyond and so it's really it's really thrilling when you begin to see some of these people, uh, some of the contestants on So You Think You Could Dance and some of the choreography is, is just wonderful and, and, and it's often, you can you definitely see homage, an homage to Gene in much of it, but I love that they're taking it, it may be hip hop, it may be break dancing, there's an essence of Gene Kelly in it, but they've gone beyond, so. Yeah, I think we all want to know, what was it like to dance with Fred Astaire, you know? What were the rehearsals like, you know? What was her, what was it like to work with the choreographer Hermes Pan and, and, and you know, just the, the whole, what was their process like and, and, and what was, I mean, all of that. I mean, I think we're all curious. I mean, Fred, you know, is, you know, for sure, one of the all-time greatest dancers, you know, in our industry. and. Um, it, it, it's always nice to learn more about him. But I, mean, I, I was just saying, I don't think that there's ever been more choreographers or dancers employed at one time in history than there are now. I mean, everywhere you look, the internet is filled with dance programs. The cable is filled with dance program. Network television, movies, you know, theater, Vegas, you know, a, 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 a touring, you know, a, a, every major artist out there has a dance, you know, dance production. So it's fantastic. I mean, to see the dance explode like this and choreographers really come into the light and get and get the recognition that they deserve. Oh, man. Um, yeah. I, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to seeing some of that, some footage. Some never seen, never been seen before footage of, uh, of Fred Astaire and, and uh, you know, obviously, 
you know, I'm such a huge fan and uh, such an icon, and f especially for what I do with, you know, partner dancing and, and ballroom dancing, and it's, uh, it's very important to me, you know, that history, so. Current State of Dance is amazing. It really is. It's, it's exciting because, you know, because of these television shows, they really have put dancing in the spotlight, and, and now it's not that dancers are sort of are there to help enhance the performance, they are the performance. You know, they are the stars and, and it's, it's exciting and I, I, the dedication, the commitment, the blood, sweat and tears that goes into being a dancer is, is it, you know, the creative athletes, you know, that's what, it's artistic athletes basically and it's, the, what goes into it and the reward is, is quite small in relation to say you're, if you're an actor or, you know, whatever it is, but the passion that you have for dance is much larger than anything that you could ever measure. So it's it's a uh, it's wonderful. I love it. the dancing scene right now is fantastic. I think we're just excited first of all that it's happening and that we're a, you know a part being of it, yeah. able to be a part of it to sit next to Paula and and Kenny Ortega and Derek Cuff and so um, we're excited for all the questions to come to come our way. And just excited in general for how big dance on television is, really. I think it's grown the last 10 years. How do you feel about it? I feel uh, it's great. I mean, it, season after season, we just keep on having the shows around, mm -hmm. and, and more shows are coming, and uh, it, it's, it's amazing. We feel very privileged, too, I think, to have, have this moment happen right now for our careers, too, as well, because, you know, I remember growing up watching the music videos, and, and I think dance was, was really big back in the day with Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire, and then it went through its different cycles, and then it kind of took a back seat for a little while, and, it, and it's now on the forefront of, of television, and we're excited that we've been able to be a part of it. What compels us to watch dance shows? Definitely not the dance drama. I mean, we get that on a day-to-day -day basis, so we know it, we live it. Um, and just seeing good quality work. I mean, I think that as choreographers, directors, for us, we also appreciate seeing the whole production of things. So not just the dance steps and that dance vocabulary, but the lighting design and the video content and the costumes because, you know, it is a complete package. And a lot of uh, choreographer directors are able to pull that together and we appreciate that when we're watching that of someone else's work. You know, I really hope that dance can still keep its presence the way it has been and, and um, more opportunities. I think that uh, with So You Think You Can Dance, I think dancers are crossing over into acting and I think more television shows are trying to find fun ways to incorporate dance into it. So, I don't know. I um, mean... I, I, re I would really like to see some more rather Broadway. than it just being... No, yeah, rather than it just being um, uh, reality TV, I'd rather it be less competition and more scripted. It would be really nice to, to get, you know, musical type shows coming back.